Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video we are going to study about lattice parameters. To know about lattice parameters, first we need to know what are translational vectors. Let us consider a two dimensional square array of points as shown here. Now let us consider a lattice point here which can be represented by a two vectors a and b respectively by the repeated translation of these two vectors a and b we can generate the square array the magnitude of a and b are equal and can be taken to be unity the angle between them is 90 degrees the a and b are called as the fundamental translational vectors now let us choose any arbitrary point O as origin. If we choose a lattice point P at a distance R from O, it can be represented by a translational vector R bar is equal to LA plus MB, where L and M are integers, integral values, which represent the number of lattice points along the vectors a and b respectively after the point O. For three-dimensional lattice points, the translational vectors can be represented as r bar is equal to la plus mb plus nc. Now that we know what is a translational vectors, let's study about lattice parameters. Let us consider a unit cell. Now let us consider three phases 1, 2 and 3. The intersection of these three phases forms a corner. The lines drawn parallel to these planes at the intersection points forms a axis. This axis is called crystallographic axis represented by x, y and z. Naturally the three translational vectors a, b and c lie along this crystallographic axis. The, in the intercepts a, b, c define the dimensions of the unit cell and are known as the primitives. The angle between B and C is alpha and the angle between the B and A is gamma and angle between C and A is beta. So these three angles are known as interfacial angles. The primitives A, B, C and interfacial angles alpha, comma, beta, comma, gamma are known as the basic lattice parameters. So these are the basic lattice parameters. The unit cell formed with the primitives A, B and C is known as a primitive cell. Now that we know about lattice parameters, let's calculate the lattice constant. Lattice constant is denoted by a letter small a. Okay, let's get started. A volume of a unit cell can be represented as a cube because a unit cell is uh, assumed to be in the shape of a cube. The volume of a cube is a cube. A mass of each unit cell is density of unit cell into volume of unit cell that is rho into a cube. Okay, n is equal to number of molecules and m is equal to molecular weight and n is equal to Avogadro number. Then mass of each molecule can be given as molecular weight by Avogadro number that is mass of each molecule is equal to capital M by capital N. Mass in each unit cell is equal to number of molecules in the unit cell into mass of each molecule that is N into M by N. So from the equations 1 and 2 we have mass of each unit cell is rho a cube and mass of each unit cell calculated is n into capital M by capital N. So we can equate equations 1 and 2 that is rho a cube is equal to n into capital M by capital N. We can rewrite this equation as a cube is equal to n into capital M by n into rho. So from this equation we can get the lattice constant A as A is equal to small n into m by n into rho whole power 1 by 3 where n is the number of molecules, m is the molecular weight of each molecule, n is Avogadro number, 
and rho is the density. That's it for this tutorial. In the next video, we will be studying about crystal systems. For all my videos, please visit my YouTube channel that is www.youtube.com slash vibhavroys. If you have any queries, comments and suggestions, please email me to vibhavroy at the rate of engineer.com. Thank you for watching.